Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Sir Dan and for today's video, I'll be discussing with you about center of mass. So before we start, let us define first what is the center of mass. When we say center of mass, it is a point in the system in which the total mass is concentrated or it is a point of a body in which its mass is concentrated. So para mas maintindihan ninyo, I have here the formula and I have here three examples uh, where center of mass will be discussed. So let's have here the center of mass. So X cm or what we call center of mass in horizontal axis. Kasi meron tayong Y cm. Although pareso na yung formula na yan. So yung mga X yung gagawin nyo lang Y kapag ka, uh, vertical yung axis natin. So we have the horizontal center of mass that is equal to yung m stands for the mass yung x dito stands for the distance of the mass from the origin so mass 1 times the distance 1 plus mass 2 times the distance 2 etc kung ilan yung kung ilan man yung object na meron tayo okay all over the m1 plus m2 plus etc or the total uh, total mass Okay, para mas maintindihan ninyo, let's have the first illustration. In this illustration, as you can see, class, uh, meron tayong dalawang object. The two objects are placed here. So, ito yung unang object. This is object number 1. And this one is object number 2. Okay? Itong 0 na to, it is the origin. Yan yung 0. So, yung distance na itong object na to, from the origin, ito yung nakalagay. 10 centimeters. So, yung object 1, ito yung uh, distance na. So, ito yung 10 centimeters is what we call the x1. Then, gaano kabigat to? Mass. Oh, so, sorry. Kung mass 2 pala to, ito yung x2 natin. Kasi mass 2 yan. So, ang mass 2 ay meron 53 kilograms. Ito yung mass 1 natin. The distance of our um, mass 1 so, pagdun na lang natin, ito yung first object, ito yung second object. Okay? Si, si first object, meron siyang mass na 25 kilograms. Then, meron siyang distance from the origin na 85 centimeters. So, mas malayo siya kumpara sa origin. Kaya, nandito siya. So, mass 1, ito. So, mass 2, ito naman. 53 kilograms that has a distance of 10 centimeters away from the origin. So, origin natin ay 0. So, to get the center of mass, ang kailangan na natin gawin dito ay... Ganto. So, formula natin, um, XCM, so center of mass, is equal to mass 1, so you start with 25, 25 kg. Next, multiply by yung X1 natin. So, ito yung X1 natin. Kasi mass 1 to, ito yung X1. So, times, 20, times 85 rather. Then, plus... Mass 2 natin is 53. Okay. Then dito naman, ang um, distance natin ay ito, 10. Okay. So, all over yung total mass. M1 natin ay 53. Ah, sorry. Ang M1 natin ay 25. Plus Yung M2 natin ay 53. Although price na yung right, magkabaliktad yan. Equal. So, kailangan natin i-calculate natin to. So, i-multiply natin. 25 times 85. Multiply this. So, that is equal to 2,125. Okay. Plus... 53 times 10 is 530 divided by 25 plus 53 that is equal to 78 after that so pwede mo na ilagay sa calculator yan ng isahan na lang so ilagay natin nagiging 2125 plus 530 Divided by 78, that is equal to 
0.04 So yan yung center of mass natin. The unit is kung ano yung ano, unit ng distance natin centimeters. Okay, so that is our final answer in number 1. Okay, so yan yun. Next, let's have number 2. For the number 2 problem, meron tayong Okay, word problem to. So, illustrate lang muna natin. A 5 kilogram mass placed at the origin and a 9 kilogram mass is placed at the distance of 2 meters from the origin. Where is the center of mass? So, lagay tayo dito. Ito yung origin natin. So, ang 5 kilogram mass na to, yan yung magiging object number 1 natin. Sabi, naka-place siya sa origin. So, nandito yung, nandito, nandito yung object number 1 natin. So, object number 1. Then, yung object number 1 na yon ay merong mass na 5 kg. So, mass 1 natin is 5 kg. Ganyan mag-represent. Then, next, meron tayong second object which is 9 kg. So, lagay tayo ng mahabang line. Yung 9 kg na yan ay naka-place sa 2 meters. So, kung ito yung 1 meter, ba 1 meter yan. Ito yung 2 meters, for example. So, dito yung object natin. Second object. So, meron siyang mass 2 kung tawagin na 9 kg. So, 9 kg. Si 5 kg sa sa origin. So, 0 ang x sub 1 niya. Ang distance niya. Kasi nandito siya eh. So ngayon, yung si second mass na mass, second object, gano'n siya kalayo, nakabilanggit naman na, x2 is 2 meters. So 0 si mass 1, di naman si mass 2 ay 2 meters away from the origin. So gamit ang formula na to, gawin natin. So mass 1 natin ay 5, center of mass, xcm equals 5 Multiply to the x1 which is 0 kasi nakaka-place sa origin. Plus, mass 2 natin ay 9. Multiplied by x2 natin ay 2. All over the total mass. Mass 1 plus mass 2 natin. So, mass 1 ay 5 then 9. 5 plus 9. So, center of mass natin. Pwede mo i-direct sa calculator to. Cancel to kasi 0 na lang yan. 9 times 2 is 18 5 plus 9 is 14 So 0 plus 18 is 18 Divided by 14 So 18 divided by 14 Is 1.29 So 1.29 Yung center of mass natin Which has a unit of meters Okay 1.29 meters Next so next, let's have the third example that I have in here. So I have the, another problem. An 8 kilogram mass is placed at 3 meters from the origin lagi yan. So lagay tayo ng origin natin. Halimbawa ito yung origin natin. So 0 yan dyan. So 8 kilogram mass, lagay na tayo ng linya. So, object natin, 8 kilogram mass is placed at 3 meters. So, lagay tayo, 1 meter, nababa, 2 meters, then 3 meters. So, dito yung object number 1 natin. So, meron siyang mass 1 na 8 kilograms. Okay, sa 3 meters siya naka-place. Where should a 10 kilogram? 10 kilogram, another object. So, meron tayong second object, 10 kilograms. So, ang tanong, where should a 10 kilogram mass be placed along the x-axis? This is the x-axis, itong line na yan. Saan daw natin pwede ilagay yung 10 kilogram na yan? Then, ang condition so that the center of mass will be located at this value, 4.5 meters. So, lagay tayo ng 4.5 meters. This is the distance. So, dito yung 4 meters. Sabi natin ito yung 5 meters. Ito yung kinutukoy na 4.5. 4 
Okay, ito yung center of mass. Center of mass is 4.5 meters. So, saan daw natin pwede ilagay yung 10 kilogram? Ang 10 kilogram na yan, kung ito yung center of mass, so yung 10 kilogram, saan natin pwede ilagay? So, since ito yung center, most probably, nandito yung object natin. Yung second object natin. That is our mass to 10 kilograms. Ang nawawala ngayon, ito. Where should the 10 kilogram mass be placed along the x-axis? So, nawawala yung x sub 2. Yung x sub 1 natin, gano'ng kalayo yung 8 kilograms from the origin, that is 3 meters. So, 3 meters. Ito, gano'ng kalayo to, Yung second object. So, nawawala yung x sub 2. Gamit tayo ng formula, meron tayong given na x or the center of mass. So, ang center of mass natin, 4.5. Ano, center of mass will be located at this value. So, center of mass, tagay na natin, that is 4.5. Then, equals, mass 1, we have 8 kilograms. Then, x1 natin ay 3, times 3. Plus, mass 2, meron tayong mass 2, 10 kilograms. Then, x sub 2, yan yung nawawala. So, gawin natin value lang ng x. Okay? All over, total mass. Ang total mass natin, m1 plus m2. m1 is 8. m2 is 10. So, solve natin. Yung x na to, yan yung x sub 2. Lagyan natin x sub 2. So, ngayon, eto, yung 8 plus 10 na yan, i-compute lang natin. Okay. Lagyan ko dito. So, magiging 4.5 equals 8 times 3 is 24 plus, copy lang to, 10x sub 2 divided by 8 plus 10 is 18. Then, ang gagawin dito is cross multiply. 4.5 times 18 calculator is 81. Okay, so yung 81 na yan, lagay natin sa dito. So, magiging 81, pinag-multiply natin, equals, ito 24, copy, plus 10x sub 2. Yung 24, ibalibag natin sa kabila. Pag nagbalibag tayo, magabago yung sign. 81 minus 24, equals, copy na lang to, 10x sub 2. 81 minus 24 is equal to 57, equals, 10 x sub 2 to get the value of x sub 2 divide both sides by 10 so that is equal to 5.7 the unit of this is meters also kasi distance yan kapag mass kilogram pag distance meters kapag ka center of mass meters then or centimeters kung ano man yung binigay na unit so this is now the final answer for number 3. So that's it. We already have the, the answers for the 3 problems that we that we had. So I hope that you learned something from this video. Kung meron kayo mga comment and suggestions, don't forget to uh, write it on the comment box. And please subscribe to my channel to keep you more updated on my next video.